Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this particular episode, I am going to talk about SMS authentication with Python and Flask. In this video, I am going to talk about 5 major steps how to implement SMS or OTP authentication using Python and Flask. Let's get into the topic. Step 1. What it says is validate the user with mobile number. We need to prompt a page so that user enters the mobile number as as you can see on my page here the mobile number he enters and he clicks on a get OTP and we need to pop up a, a page saying uh, enter a six digit OTP that has been sent to your mobile number and a verification button so we need to prompt the page to enter OTP to the user and the step two step two talks about generating a verification code how do we generate this verification code so once the user enters mobile number we need to send them OTP so when he clicks on this get OTP button we need to prompt this page so in this process in this process we need to trigger we need to generate a verification code so verification code it has to be six digit or nine digit however it is convenient to you so we need to uh, generate six digits that is one two three four five six digit using random function random the rand range is a function it takes two parameters so say I'll, I'll say six digits starts from thousand ten thousand lakh from lakh to triple nine so triple nine triple nine so this is the first parameter and and this is the second parameter so that's how we generate a uh, pin or or say OTP so once you are done with this we are going to step 3 step 3 is a sending it so how do we send this generated OTPs to send that I am using a API called Twilio Twilio API if you haven't watched my previous video please I'll I will leave a link in my description please click on that and go and watch it so in this I am going to use the, their Twilio API to send OTP to the client so that's it so my fourth point is how do we uh, store this OTP so store there are a lot of ways you can handle this OTP or or verification authentication process but in my case I am using a flask session it is an extension for flask that adds support for server side session so it stores this uh, sensitive information that is sent from Twilio or the OTP that we generated and we sent through Twilio uh, instead of storing in a client session they can get they can access through the console instead of doing that we are going uh, through this flask session uh, extension so this is how we do it session key is equals to the value we will we will see this in details when we uh, when we are doing hands-on so the final step here is so verification codes uh, it has been received to the end user now he will type he will type as I have shown you in the step one he will enter the uh, OTP whatever we have sent to his SMS he will end and he will click on verify in this verify I am going to collect the whatever he uh, enters through request so from user request dot page from there I am going to collect this code is equals to the session server side code what I have stored before sending him to the client so I will uh, cross verify this is a if this is if users entered code is equals to is equals to the session code then if then if it works then we should allow him to log in into the page or, or whatever the uh, web application you have built in so the next step I will show you the block diagram the flow chart how this entire thing work so we we start from here user enters mobile number if valid if it is yes then user enters OTP else no prompt user again to enter a OTP saying uh, the entered number the enter mobile number is not registered or please sign up so you can throw a message and it, it, it has to be looped back to the sign up page if if the entered mobile number is valid if it is yes then prompt the user user to enter OTP if if the OTP is correct if OTP is correct then if yes then prompt success page or or a login page or login successful page or a home page or a profile page wherever you wanted to land that user into uh, you can uh, uh, prompt that page to that end user else 
prompt back to again to enter the OTP OTP again correct OTP again and you can give a, a recent OTP if the OTP if the session has expired I'm going to talk much about the session expiry thing uh, so this is this is about today's video guys watch out this is the first part watch out for the second part I'm gonna do everything hands-on uh, so keep sharing this video if you like leave a thumbs up and uh, thanks for your support see you